bit of a little bit better volley, but then it was broken three times. Behind. Good decision by Sampras. Tend with that volley, and then that's a very. Goes behind, we're back to Deuce. Well played. Safely down. But Edberg managed to hit a very good deep volley, and he just hit, waits uh, that extra set. Another back. And he just, it's a good low return, and then he just, just takes that racket back. The kid's so loose. Is a, look, he's moving backwards and somehow gets some weight into that shot. But this time, Pete takes it and just whacks it just the way it must be. Puts Sampras on the defensive with that overhead. Watch this on the dead run. Boy, for the second one. Lasciata. Ebbe questo uno. E guardate qui ci, ci passava un camion.
zu locker gespielt. Pete Sampras qui n'avait que deux petites participations à Roland Garros où il n'a jamais dépassé le deuxième tour. Et là, un match très difficile face au Suisse Rosset. giocatore che ha superato 80 vittorie nello stesso anno dai tempi di Ivan Lendl che vince 84 partite nel 7 nel 85 questa volta è Brughera a non coprire bene il lungoline anzi proprio si è fermato è importante Deuce volley. Fifteen-o. Sound like you said to, to watch this match. There's always one thing in common with the good. All of a sudden, those two double faults. Waited till Becker. Agassi looks for the easy volley down the line. Look how high that ball went over. Agassi. Wait. Look where Agassi is. Tanti, ma aiutati da delle volée non proprio decise. 0,30. Six three. He's very, uh, very quick around the court. Can't receive full tilt early here. Why not? 
Volkov likes those shots in no man's land. He Irving to Pete Sampras at 2-5, first set. Player, but he surely, you just see so many more volleys from him than Philip Putin. <laughs> That's pretty nice to mind. Well, I think with Philip Putin, Volkov just pushed that volley back, left a wide. He just hits too many balls between. Foot speed. He's sneaky fast for, for someone that big. time or something? <laughs> he said, no, but you know, you're beating Simmery pretty easily. So he just got off the court. And I think Once again, well behind the service line, the casual volley. Der Passierschlag vorhand Longline. Die Linie. Ganz tief. Und. Spieler Sanders. War das die Entscheidung? Boris Becker verliert zum ersten Mal sein Aufschlagspiel. Thank you very much. That will do. He wasn't sure, you know, once he was... Okay. Cry check there, but plenty of time for Pete to just whip the backhand anywhere. Well, Samper stays back for the first time today, but... High volley. and take away the net. Well, he was disappointed with the way he returned against Patrick and Speedo. Good footwork. Now, what about this match here? I know uh, you have a lot of interest with Pete and now with the way Rafter plays. What do you think about this match? Well, Any of the top hundred players, you get away with a volley like that. He just gave Pete Sambras one more chance and just screamer up the line. Not yet. He's got way too much time. Sees Raft to move over to the. Oh wow! Position at the net. What are you writing down? I'm just keeping track of the return games. Um, I want to see how much pressure Pete can put on uh, Patrick's serve. He ran after scrambling, trying to get back in position. But what did you find out from that screen ATP tour toward training? Well, this is an injury that just happened now. The second match is that of Sampras, who retrouves his costume of champion. Failed. On the first point, that is. Ah, yes. Krajcik's not the only one who can hit the running forehand. Yep. No, 
Now, as uh, Fru pointed out, it was that double fault on the first point that opened the door, and Sampras marched right through and has the set in 44 minutes. Yes, and you've got to say, slightly uh, against the run of play, but it's a matter, really, as you were saying, of uh, who wins the important points. Well, if he could uh, produce those sort of backhands, one down the line, one cross court. On Sampras had said before the match he wasn't sure how he was going to break Rafter's serve. They moved into a tie break. Title number 60 was now one sound service game away. With along with the big serve and full tilt, he's able to run at that ball and beautiful angle there in the backhand. The serve is such a big weapon. Oh, yes. Again, the quickness from Sampras. Stretch, he gets it low. Look at that quick first step. One, he's already there. And easily pokes that up. Oh! Wow! Yeah! And it's deep. Sampras just takes it right off the court. Ag Zesky took the opportunity with this forehand. I mean, this is a thing of beauty. We lost. Different player. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Running forehand. Ah. Sure, I mean, when he stepped up to hit this backhand, there's absolutely no concern. He's going to make this shot on this one. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, baby. Burn gets it down low and then absolutely explodes on this one. Second serve break point. That is a good play, I thought, from Uzetsky to try to get into the net there, but Sampras with the point and crossing. The fact that he's running makes absolutely no difference to him. Sampras winning the first set, six games to three, two breaks against Greg Rusetsky. Running oh. forehand is dangerous, baby. If you're going to come in to the net, that is not all she wrote now. You know, one of the reasons Sampras can hit that chip backhand is because he knows then that he's got the forehand that the, his opponent's got to play into. Per fare il break. Eh sì, con un giocatore. Fare il break al terzo game non sarebbe male. Yeah! Oh. E ci riesce con un colpo straordinario di rovescio Sampras. Questo è Fantastic, fantastic passing pour uh, avoir le temps de voir. Oh, C'est superbe, superbe. Il a attendu le dernier moment, puis il s'en passe. Ce coup droit croisé.
双方打得非常稳健，机会非常漂亮。詹姆拉斯一个反血没有耐住寂寞